guys. Today I want to talk about a problem that I've seen talked about on forums and reported for, what, 14 years now since the FJR 1300 has been around? That's the side cases coming off going down the road. Usually it's somebody going down a bumpy road, meaning you've got some motion going on, but you know what? I've seen reports of it just going down the highway. I've seen reports where people didn't even know it's gone and they have no idea at what point they lost them. In any case, when it happens, uber expensive. These are almost 500 bucks a piece. There's no way they survive coming off. Sometimes they're completely lost, but they're always banged up. At the very least, scratched up. Sometimes parts missing. You know, it gets expensive. Even just this outer shell is 400 bucks. So, obviously you want to avoid doing that. The problem is, I don't know anyone personally it's happened to. It's never happened to me. I've heard about this since I got my 2006 FJR, so nine years ago. I have spent time trying to figure out why it would happen, because obviously that's something I want to be concerned about and prevent. The solution that's out there right now, I don't really like. I mean, it, it functions. The solution out there is to put a cotter pin through this bottom section. So you're drilling a hole through the mount on the bike and through two plastic tabs on the case and physically pinning it together every time you put it on and undoing it every time you take it off. Obviously, yes, that's certainly going to keep it attached at least at this point to the bike. So if for whatever reason it comes off at the top, it's still going to be hanging on down there. You know, it might be dangling off the side, but it's not going to go bouncing down the road. So that's what people have been doing. I never did it because I never saw the physical need because I've never even had it come close to coming off. If there was even an instant where I thought, oh man, that could actually happen, I'd have a pin on there in a heartbeat, absolutely. But I just couldn't reproduce it I, I, until tonight. And it's not a fault of the bike. First, let's take a look at how this actually works to see how it goes onto the bike and then I'll show you my theory at least that I think will explain most if not all of the cases of these coming off the bike. Okay the way this is attached there are four attachment points from the case to the bike when it's in the lock position. You turn your key here this releases the lock mechanism for both the door and the latch that secures it to the bike. You pull this up to unlock it. You have two slots here, one rubber mounted tab down below. You just slide it out like that. Now it actually attaches securely to the bike all up here. This down here is simply an alignment tab. You have a plastic piece down here, I mean a, a rubber piece down here, and that's simply to keep this centered and stop it from making noise and stop the bag from doing this on the road. All right, that's all this does down here. This is not keeping it on the bike at all. It's just keeping it in place laterally. The entire latch mechanism is here, here, and here. You have three slots on the bike, two up here and one underneath right in the middle, right here. These are just little plastic fixed hook-like tabs, and they just sit right down into the bike here. They don't move. They are extremely rigid. They're not going anywhere. You can't goof these up, okay? They go in the slots. If they're not aligned with the slots, it doesn't go on the bike, period. Now, if you just put these in, you line the bottom, drop these down into the bike. Now it's sitting here. It's in the correct position. This can come off the bike because it's it's just held down by gravity, okay? Nothing is securing it. What happens when you push this lever down is this tab raises up, okay? It's on a lever. It is on a gear drive. It's all sealed inside the case. There's nothing to adjust. You can't even open this up. It's all literally baked into the plastic. It's injection, injection molded and you can't even get to the mechanism. You can see the tip of the gear drive right here. As you rotate this, it's kind of like a rack and pinion steering and it's moving a series of levers inside that moves 
this third tab up into position. And that's it. Now here's the issue. Okay, how is this bag physically coming off the bike? Well, there are only two options. Number one, it was not in the correct position locked down to the bike. Or two, it wasn't locked. Okay, let's look at option number one. It wasn't in the correct position. There is no physical way that this can be on the bike. Even if you have this up high in the tabs, let's not even... Okay, this, this isn't even sitting in the tab. It's sitting on the bike right now, on the paint part. As soon as you push this down and that third lever comes up, it pinches everything together because there is very little tolerance when this is in the locked position. So it can't move around and it's going to pull it down right into place. And there it goes. Pulled this straight down. It came straight up. This one's locked in. It can't go in any other way. There is no physical possible way. It's a triangle and it's in there. There is no physical way that this can move enough to let either one of these tabs out of the slots. It doesn't even move a quarter of the height of this tab to get out. It doesn't have the room. Okay. That eliminates the possibility of this being locked in position on the bike and falling off on its own. That pin is just completely redundant because you're not protecting against something that can happen. So why are they coming off? Here's my theory. It's not locked. Here's the problem. The only thing keeping this on the bike is that tab coming up. And that tab comes up by this lever being down. The only thing holding this lever down is you locking it closed with the key. And all that is, is when you turn this key, it does two things. It locks this lever in place and this opens the side cover. So it's down. And when you turn it to lock it, this little tab swings and rotates over to the side. Okay, and it catches a little ledge on the inside right here. Okay, and that prevents this from coming up. See this little ledge right here? Now it's underneath it, and this can't come up, so the side can't open. It's sticking out here, and that's what's preventing this lever from coming up. On the side of the lever, you have a slot right here. Okay, this is, this is a slot. This little tab that swings out goes into the slot. So it's down and closed. This is up. These three are pinched together. It's on the bike. You rotate your key to lock it. And that is now in the slot. So neither one of these can come up. Now, there have been people that said they've recovered their case on the side of the road and it's still locked. Okay, so it's not a locking mechanism failure. It's exactly like this, sitting on the road, you know, in the locked position. I think maybe in the excitement of it all, Maybe some of them are seeing something else because here's my theory. If this lever is 98% closed, this is closed, that's not. You know, you can't even really notice. I mean, we're talking a couple degrees. Not locked because that slides just under the lever. So that's my theory. People are putting it on the bike. And you know what? It might still look like it's locked depending on how it lands. Okay. Pop it all the way down. Close it with key. Locked. Pop it all the way down. Maybe you got a glove on. Not locked. If this is not 100% down, when you turn that key, that's it. That's all it takes right here. This little tiny movement. That looks locked. Same as that. It's not. 
So of course, if this is not locked, you're going down the road, this pops up, that releases, bye-bye case. I think that's all there is to it. So rather than drilling through your bike, putting in a cotter pin to fix a non-existent problem, you're taking that time, all you have to do is this. Tug, that's it. When you turn your key, tug, you know it's locked. If you turn your key, and you tug, oops, I didn't lock it right. That's all it takes. You can't look at it and, and know there's nothing obvious. I mean, we're talking literally maybe two degrees of rotation of this lever. That's all you have to do is make sure it's down when you lock it. Give it a tug. So there you go. There's my theory. I mean, if anybody else anybody out there on the internet can show me a video of this case locked being able to come off the bike I will send you a hundred dollar bill without something being physically broken obviously if that middle tab is broken or if this has jumped a tooth and it's not coming up high enough that's physical damage causing the problem but that's not what's causing all these problems that I see people reporting I think it's just user error. So there you go. Bottom line, make sure your lever is down, give it a tug. That's all you gotta do. Half a second to give it a tug is a hell of a lot easier than taking time to put a cotter pin in and out. Don't you think? That's it guys. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the site, 2 We'll see you next time.